About a month ago, the Thank You Hashem Chaver reached out to me. And they said that they were doing a very big Elul album in partnership with Mishpacha magazine. And they asked that I write short messages for each of the songs to convey a little bit of the story behind the composition of the song and some of the meaning and the message that each song was intending to convey. So we did about nine of the songs. For each song, they would tell me some of the kavana, some of the intentions that had gone into the song, and I was putting it together into these short little blurbs that many of you have read or will read V'siyat Rishmaya. When we got to the 10th song, Bali Tshuva, I was blown away by the concept. The concept of the song, Anu Rotsim Lihiyot Bali Tshuva, we desire to be Bali Tshuva, that was very fresh, that struck me in a very wonderful and beautiful way. Because classically, the term Bali Tshuva refers to those who were unaffiliated, who didn't grow up with a religious background, who came closer to a life of Torah and mitzvos. But the truth is, is that each and every one of us should have that deep desire, that yearning, anurot simli hiyot bali tshuva, as religious as we think we are. In a moment of authenticity, in a moment of honesty and sincerity, each of us has those areas of our lives within which we can improve where we can take further steps or grow closer to the master of the world. That's the concept of this song, Anu Rot Sim Lihiyot Bali Tshuva. After writing the messages, I asked the guys from Thank You Hashem to be able to listen to the songs just to make sure that the message matched the tone and the tenor of the melody. And when we got to track 10, this song Bali Tshuva, I asked them to be able to listen to the melody. And they said, we don't actually have a recording yet. And this was a couple of weeks before the album was supposed to come out. I said, where's the recording? They said that they had some mania, some obstacles, some hangups. They didn't have an artist to sing this particular song, and so they hadn't begun working on it. So offhandedly, I said, listen, if you need somebody to sing it, I'm happy to do it. And they were thrilled with the idea. Within three days, Mandy Portnoy, the producer, put together the most wonderful, beautiful arrangement. And literally three, four days later, they were tracking musicians for this track. So a few days later, Mendy sends me a message. He says, you gotta hear this. He sends me a WhatsApp voice note from Noam, the guitarist. Like a Chiloni guy saying the, 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 you know, you get what I'm saying? It moved me, seriously. I'm not kidding you, man. I'm definitely gonna lanich tzili machav aboka, baby. This one got me moving. I don't know, man. He couldn't explain it. He said he doesn't know what happened to him. Anu wrote simli hiyot bali tshuva. It's a yearning. It's a desire for each and every individual in his or her circumstances, regardless of affiliation, regardless of external level of religious commitment. Each and every person should have this yearning and desire to grow close to Hashem that moved him in such a way. In his message, Noam said that he wasn't sure what had overcome him. He wasn't sure why he felt this way about this song and why the song made him feel the way that he did. But the Balshem HaKadosh teaches as captured in the English lyrics to the melody. Beyond the veil an echo calls my name. Every day a baskal, a heavenly echo emerges, shuvu banim shayvavim, stirring each and every Jewish heart, irreligious, religious, whatever their affiliation, whatever the labels are, stirring us toward a greater engagement with our purpose, with our eternal mission, to be able to build a relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with the Master of the World, to be able to make our lives a little bit more spiritually oriented. And I believe that that's the message that all of us should take home from this song. Anu wrote sim lihiyot bali tshuva. It matters not what we look like, it matters not where we live, it matters not how externally religiously committed we may appear. Each of us knows deep down that in the deepest way, we're all the same. We're bound together as one by this deep yearning. Anu wrote sim, all of us together collectively, the Jewish nation yearns lihiyot bali tshuva to essentially always be growing closer and closer to the master of the world, walking further and further into his deep, enveloping embrace. Oh.